Today we are going to review replacing the maintenance kit on the Hewlett Packard LaserJet P4515. The same methodology also applies to the P4014 and 4015 series from HP. The first thing you want to do is replace the rollers in the tray. You can have up to three sets of trays that will need these rollers in the machine. The way you do it is the same for each one. The first thing you want to do is replace the roller that's inside the tray. This plate here will lift back and this roller will pinch and remove. So you're going to just pinch it, pull it straight sideways. You can see from the side that all you have to do is you just pinch this like that and this roller will pinch and pull off. The replacement roller is going to go on until it snaps in place. When it's, once it's on, you should always push back just a little bit just to make sure it doesn't fall off. And then that tray is done. And then inside the machine, you'll need to replace the roller, the second blue one. You can grab the little pinch here, pinch it. It'll slide off. Once again, it's that pinch where you just pinch it and the roller will slide off the shaft. You want to replace the roller until you hear it click in place and then always tug back just a little bit to make sure that it doesn't fall off. The next thing you want to do is replace the transfer roller. So you want to lift the lid, take the toner cartridge out, and this is the transfer roller right here. This black foam bar looks kind of like a, like a Nerf sponge bar with a blue gear on the end. You're going to lift this up from the blue gear side here. This piece will lift straight up. And this roller will then pull to the side slightly. This side here, it goes in a hole. So it's going to lift, pull the side slightly, and then lift out. Replacement goes in the reversal process. So you're going to start by putting the right side into the socket over on this side. And then you're just going to push straight down on the left side until you hear it click. And then it should be spring loaded to go up and down and in place. The final piece you'll replace is the fusing assembly, which is on the back side of the machine. To replace the fuser, if the duplex unit is installed, you'll need to remove the duplexing unit. That comes out by lifting slightly and then pulling straight back until it completely comes out. You then want to open the back access door of the printer and on the left hand side from the rear, there is an area that you can squeeze in slightly with your finger to pull out the back door and release it. Once that piece is out, this uh, larger dark gray piece here is the fusing assembly. There's a blue tab here and a blue tab here. You're then going to want to pinch with your four fingers and then leaving your thumbs at the top, just pinch both pieces and pull straight back. And that is how the fuser comes out. The fuser replacement is just a reversal process. You want to push it in until you hear it click on both sides. You always want to give it just a little tug, make sure it's in place properly. You then want to replace the rear output cover. You want to start with the right hand side and get it in place and then squeeze with your finger on this side to get it uh, slid into place. Once it's in place, you just want to swing it a little bit, make sure both the holes are lined up properly and then close that. And then if you have the duplex assembly, reinsert the duplex, which just slides along the rails until it clicks into place and locks in. The final step in this process is to reset the maintenance kit count. There is two methodologies in which this can be done. We will show both of them. So from the front of the machine with it powered off, you want to turn on the printer. Once you start to see the RAM count go up, press the OK button and hold it in. Once all three LEDs light up on the front panel of the printer, you can let go of the OK button. It should then say select language at the top of the screen. You can then use the arrows to scroll until you get to new maintenance kit. If you go past it, it's not a big deal. You can always go back down or just go all the way through until you come back around to it. Once it says new maintenance kit on the screen, press the OK button. It will then continue the boot sequence and you've just reset the maintenance count on the P4515, the 4014, and the 4015 series from HP. This is the alternate method for resetting the maintenance kit count. The code number we will use will be slightly different, but the method is the same for all three models. The first thing you want to do from the control panel is press the menu button, then scroll down until you get to service. There should be a little padlock next to it. Press the OK button. It's then going to ask for a PIN code. The PIN code for the 4515 is 0545158. Once you've entered the number, you want to press the OK button. You'll then be in the service mode. You want to scroll down until you get to maintenance count. You want to press OK. The number should be maxed out because it's now reached the point that it's given you the message. You want to then press the zero to reset it back to zero pages since you've just replaced the kit. Press OK. It'll tell you that the setting's been saved and then just hit the back button until you back out of the menu and your replace maintenance message will go away. And now you've replaced the maintenance kit and reset the maintenance count on the P4515.